Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for July. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to get one of these for uh, an overall energy and I was um, just going to say that I wasn't going to take this upright, I mean reversed, I'm going to take this card upright but it wouldn't let me get the words out before the card came out. The card is, is coming out and it is reversed. So, you know, it, I, I really believe that we need to take this card in reverse. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July. Keep in mind that this is a preview and it may not resonate the very day that you watch it. There is, what, 31 days? I don't even know. I don't have my calendar on July yet. Yeah, 31 days in July. All right. So keep that in mind. All right. Anxiety. Anxiety. So I think you guys have been in a state of anxiety. You have probably been having some fear. You may have been frustrated. You may have been depressed. You may have been in a state of... Um, well, the card speaks for itself, anxiety. But, you know, I think I'm going to keep it reversed because I think that this month your anxiety is going to start to dissipate. I think things are going to become easier for you. I think that, you know, the fears that you have experienced or may be starting to, you know, maybe you're starting to face those fears or maybe they're just dissipating. Maybe you're not as fearful as you used to be. Uh, maybe you're starting to feel more comfortable with yourself. Um, I think the anxiety is going away. That's what I'm trying to say. We are going to leave it reversed because I just really feel like that is the case. If you have been feeling anxious and you have been feeling uncomfortable and things haven't been, you know, feeling easy... I think things are about to get easier. That's the way I feel. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, Nine of Wands, accepting challenge. That's what we got here. You guys are in your power. I see you guys as very strong. Very, very strong. You have persevered. You have. Look how far you've come. You are really, really... You're probably being highly respected at this time for your strength and your stamina. Don't look back because you have come a long way. You have. This is confidence. It's like, I don't think anybody can hold you back at this time. I really feel like you guys are have gained more strength through adversity probably than any other sign. That's just the way I feel. There's been a lack of, of teamwork here. And I think that you you were probably forced to do something on your own. Probably you, you, were, you may have been dealing with people that were up against you or people that wouldn't help you. But you persevered through that, right? Yeah. Let me just get the rest of these cards. Your ability to hold on. You guys have been holding on to your stability probably like no other. I think that you guys have gained respect even though this is... I think you have gained respect by by persevering. Um, coming out of the darkness. You're not a victim here, and you know that. It's like, I will not be a victim to this circumstance. You guys are very, very, very strong. You guys have been through a difficult period. I think it's over. I think that you should start be starting to feel stable, secure. Huh. King of Pentacles reverse as I say that. You may have lost some friends. You may have figured out who your friends really are. You may have. <laughs> yeah, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You could be dealing with an unhealthy situation. There could be some addictions. There could be some uh, illegal issues going on in your life. You could have somebody who's up against you and you faced them. You faced them head on. I feel like you probably have figured out who your friends are and who your friends aren't. I feel like um, you probably have been holding on to an unhealthy situation trying to help somebody. Maybe you maybe you were trying to make something work out and you can't finally come to this realization that you just got to let this go because it's never going to work out, whatever the case is. I feel like you are probably dealing with an individual who is selfish. You may be dealing with an individual who uses you for money or uses you for some other reason. Somebody who doesn't, you know, have your best interest at heart. And I think that, you know, you probably see that clearly now. Um, King of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You could be dealing with a very selfish individual who is a bully, who is mean-spirited, who is abusive. You could be dealing with an abusive individual who has forced you to find your strength. You know? There's your strength. Oh my God, that just totally plays out what I just said. This this abusive and you've dealing been dealing with some abusive individual who has forced you to find your strength. This is a strength card. Okay? Your strength to persevere. This is a card of strength as well. You guys are very, very, very strong this month. You guys are probably at that crossroads and you're indecisive. You're indecisive. You may be you may have been trying to postpone you know, severing ties with this person, but I think you're coming to a point where you may be realizing, you know, you may be, may, I mean, with the Five of Pentacles reverse, you may be realizing that you'd be better off to, you know, find your stability elsewhere. You're probably dealing with an individual who is obsessive. They could be, uh, whoever you're dealing with, they're abusive, put it that way. Um, they just are holding on to you for the financial benefit, you know what I mean? Or the, some sort of, they're, they're holding on to you for the, all the wrong reasons, put it that way. Or you're holding on to them, this could go vice versa, it really could. Um, somebody's just like been delaying the inevitable, basically because, right here, basically because of fear of the unknown, fear of, you know... What will happen if, and, and but this is coming out of fear. So coming out of fear, I think that you guys are ready to face your fears. It's like I have no fear. I have no fear at this point. You have gained so much strength that you're unstoppable. That's what I see. It's like you already know the answer. You don't even need to ask anymore. You already know. You already know how strong you are. And you already know whoever this person is you're dealing with. It's not on your side. They're not on your side. And I think that you know that. I feel like... You may have memories with this person. You may... You may feel like you have some... You, you can't let... The, maybe it's a parent. Um, you know, you, you it could be a parent. It could be a parent. It could be a family member. Um, somebody that you have a lot of memories with that you know, you're battling with. It's like a constant battle with this person. And I feel it could be a partner. It could be somebody that you got married to or somebody that was... Could This could be... we got thousands of people watching this. It could be a child. could be a parent. could be um, a step-parent. I don't know. I don't know. But I... I Whoever this person, or it could be a roommate, I don't know who this is, but whoever this person is, I feel like this person doesn't respect you. This person, it's a constant battle. They constantly want to fight with you. Um, and I feel like you don't want to fight anymore. You're probably to the point where I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. 
Now I have to tell you, I just got this this image for some of you. Some of you um, may have another opportunity. You may have another opportunity coming in. Some of you, um, you know, it, it, it's funny how I covered up the rest. We got the two of cups with this person in a wedding dress. So somebody, you, some of, if you are single, if you're completely single, you could be meeting somebody that you could end up getting married to. That just came to mind. You know, you could end up marrying this person in the future. Um, that's just a totally separate message for somebody. I don't know who just, just came to my mind. Um, now this seven of wands, this is misjudging. This is overly critical. Um, you could be dealing with a person that has criticized you every step of the way. You could be reconnecting with somebody from your past this month. Just saying. You could be. You could go to a wedding and meet somebody. These are just separate messages. I don't know who this, these, these messages are for. Um, there's an opportunity for, for love here. There is. With somebody that you have known before. That's a separate message from what I've been saying. So if you guys are looking for love, you could certainly find it this month. You could meet this person, you know, at a wedding. You could meet this person or you could meet this person anywhere, you know. You could meet this person and you end up marrying them. Just saying. Some of you could end up getting proposed to. Um... Ten of Wands reversed. This is making a conscious change to break free from an unhealthy situation. It's going right here next to this devil. So yeah, this is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. It's going to lead you to happiness. It really is. Once you let go of this burden that you have been holding on to because it feels like it's stable, it feels like it's solid, it's real, it's unhealthy. Once you finally let go of this instability that feels like it's stable, you're probably going to reconnect with something that does remind you of what it feels like, what love is supposed to be. Okay? I feel like you guys need to release something that is burdening you very, very much. And, it, and this that's where this strength comes in, the strength to let go of this unhealthy, I think it's an individual. And I think the reason that you need to let go is because you have an opportunity for love. You have an opportunity for happiness. You just have to remember what love feels like. You need to remember what love is. You know, somebody's dealing with an abusive individual that maybe, maybe, you know, there's a lot of, there's memories there. There's memories of when this person loved you. But you need to, but it's not love anymore because I don't see love anymore. But I see that there's a new opportunity for love. But you have to make a conscious change to release something that has been weighing you down that feels like it's stable, but it's not. There's a lot of criticism here. Six one-sided, no reciprocation. Maybe maybe this person has has been rejecting you. This person hasn't been giving. They haven't been doing their part. They haven't been treating you fairly. Somebody has been holding on to a person or a situation where there's been unfair treatment and you know, you're going to need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to face fear. And drop this person or situation like a hot potato. I 
I gotta clarify the Six of Cups because that's over in the challenge position, okay? You may feel like you can't let this person go because of financial reasons or because of the memories or because of the children. But you can't deny the truth. You can't avoid the truth, okay? You can't you can't live in denial. I feel like we have somebody here that is just biding their time, blocking blocking their true emotions. You have to face your fears. You have to face opposition. This is a painful, stressful decision. You have to protect yourself. You have to see it for what it is. You have to accept what it is. You have to choose to do what's right for you, even if it hurts. We got somebody here that has not... being very wise you could if you are the male watching this you could be dealing with a woman who doesn't take very good care of you she doesn't nurture you or if you're the woman watching this you know you may not know your value you may not know your worth or, or you you need to Nurture yourself a little bit more. You need to take care of yourself. There could be abandonment issues here that are causing somebody to stay. Causing somebody to stay in an unhealthy situation. Maybe they were abandoned as a child and that's all they know. Somebody could be dealing with an individual who smothers them, an individual who is selfish, an individual who, ha who, you know, doesn't reciprocate, put it that way. That's you, King of Wands, taking action. We have somebody here that is about to take action. And protect, and protect themselves. Maybe even protect another person. This is a protector. This is somebody that's about to take control. This is this is the warrior. This is the leader. This is the boss. No fear. We could have somebody here that is about to, you know, rush in and or rush out. Could go either way. We have somebody here that is about to go get something, go protect something, go save something. This guy is about to save the day. He's This is saving the day. If you are the Sagittarius watching this, the Sagittarius male watching this, you have to choose what's male or female. You have to choose what's right for you. Go after what you want. Somebody is waiting for you. Somebody is waiting for you to come in their direction. Somebody needs you. You are needed. Your presence is needed. You're going to have to face the struggle. of letting go of whatever this unhealthy situation is with the devil underneath. This is the Ten of Wands is letting go. Letting go of the unhealthy situation because there's a need. You Somebody needs you.
I feel like you guys are going in a new direction. I think you're going in a new direction. I think you're, right now, you may be trying to deny or you're trying to avoid letting somebody go because you have a lot of memories with this person. But I feel like you're about to go because there's another path. There's another path opening up in front of you. You may be de decide to reject this unhealthy individual because you're needed elsewhere. You could be dealing with a mother. I'm just saying, she's a mother. Um... Interesting. Major change is coming for that hour, owl. That is major change. We have somebody here that is about to give you something. Or you're about to give something to them. This is a solid, stable opportunity here. Somebody has something for you that could grow into something bigger. I think this is somebody that you have known. I think that you are probably going to connect with somebody that you have known. It's like somebody coming to the rescue. Maybe you have reconnected with somebody. Maybe you're receiving an offer from somebody from your past. But the only way to accept that offer is to sever ties with the unhealthy situation. So I feel like this month, you're probably going to find your strength because this is the approach. You're going to find your strength and your courage and your confidence. To take action and go after. Somebody that needs you. You're about to take the lead. You're about to take be the boss. You're about to gain a lot of respect. Whatever that is. People, people are going to see you as the hero. You're the hero. You are the hero. This is very heroic. It's a heroic action. If 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 your finances have been a problem, you're probably that I don't think that they're going to be, okay? I think that you're going to receive something. You could receive some sort of help from Another fire sign as well. An Aries Leo Sagittarius. I think your financial burdens are about to dissipate as well. So just put that in, in perspective. Your financial burdens are about to get better. Put it that way. Somebody could be coming to help you. They've got something for you. Could be a family member. Anyway, I know this is a long one, Sagittarius, but I feel like you got something good coming to you. And I think it's because you have persevered through adversity. I think you're receiving something. You're receiving something from somebody. Could be money. Could be help. Could be a new relationship. Whatever it is, you're receiving something. But you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to choose to let something go to... To accept it. Do you know what I mean? There's Something is going to be let go. And you have to choose. You have to choose between two options. Here you do. So I think your time of walking on eggshells as well. That just came to me. Is about to end. 
I do. Some of you are going through a, a major life change, okay, with that owl. This is a major, this is a death and a rebirth. I mean, that's what this is. It's almost like somebody is coming to rescue you. They're coming to help you release some burdens in your life. But you're going to have to choose to allow it. And in, in order to allow it, you're going to have to let something go. You know what I'm saying? And there you are. In your power. Very, very, very powerful at this time. Beautiful, attractive, shining, sexy. And everybody can see it. So I feel like the power is in your hands this month. Everybody can see your vibrancy. They can see your beauty. It's unmistakable. You are turning heads. I feel if whether you are male or female... Somebody is coming with something for you. And it's something that you can bank on. It may even be money. Or it's a relationship. You don't even see it coming. That's what I got. I feel like you guys are, are, are right where you need to be. Good luck.